NV9 Countertop Wizard will be used to create bar tops and multi-level tops. In the example that we're working on, we have an island. The island has two cabinets and it has a knee wall. I'd like to place a countertop on top of the knee wall. I will do so by going to Countertop Wizard in the lower left hand corner. I will choose my material. I'm just going to choose the second option for now and click Next and it will ask me for a shape. I can create a straight, an L, a G, a uh, 135, a 225, and as I click on each one, you'll actually see the preview image on the right hand side. For now, I need to create a straight top and at the bottom of this list is an option for raised bar top. I need to tell Countertop Wizard that we're going to do a bar top. So I'll click Next. It's going to ask me the overall dimensions. You have a rough plan of the countertop to the left with an A and a B indicating dimensions. I will click on the zero next to A and type in 57. Next to B, I will click and type in 15. It's going to be 50, 57 inches in length, 15 inches in depth. I'll now click Next, and it will give me a preview of the shape. Now, we'll go to Next again and determine an edge. Let's take a small OG edge to match the rest of the drawing that I had previously created. We'll click Next. It'll ask, do you want to place a sink? No need for a sink in this. Cooking, um, a, a cooktop or so forth, I'll say none in this example. Dishwasher, not going to be dishwasher under my island, so I'll click Next. And then it'll also ask some questions about adding obstacles and cutouts and trivet rods. And we can just go right through each of those by clicking Next. Now, it's going to ask, are there appliance edges? Not in this example, but I do want to add place, uh, place edges, so I will click, left click on each edge and add my edging. When we're complete, we will hit finish, and my countertop is now in the lower left-hand corner of my screen. I can hold my left-hand button down on that countertop and move it into place. But before I do so, I have one additional thing I would like to do. My wall is a knee wall. My countertop was just placed at 34 and a half inches. So I need to raise my top up. I will do so by right clicking on the countertop, highlighting surface item, moving over to the right and choosing up down. And for this example, I'm going to make my countertop 41.5 inches off of the floor. That's dimensioning from the floor to the bottom of the top. We'll click OK. And once I do that, I can again hold my left button down and move it around. And there's one other thing that I like to do. I usually hold the control key down on my keyboard as I'm moving it because the control key turns off the auto collision feature. So I'm going to move my countertop into place, snap it in, and I've placed a top. Now you'll notice something. My tops turn blue. Why did my tops turn blue? My tops turn blue because I've added something new to the tops that were already set. I need to go back and validate and make sure that everything is correct. We will right click, we will highlight, we'll go back over to the surface item and we will choose validate. Now, if everything is correct, when I right click and validate, all the lines disappear. My, my bar top though, I'll also right click on that, move over and we can also choose validate here and you'll see that my blue lines went away as well, meaning all of my tops are just fine. At this point, I can go in and do my previews or continue working because my bar top is finished.